Hey guys, this is Sarah Knight. I am the internationally best-selling author of the No Fucks Given Guides, uh, including some you might heard of, such as The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck. I live in the Dominican Republic, and this is my pool uh, from which I dispense advice. So welcome to Advice from My Pool with anti-guru Sarah Knight. So I have a new book coming out on December 31st called Calm the Fuck Down, and this episode of Advice from My Pool uh, will be exclusive advice from that book for you as a holiday gift, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever holiday you might be getting gifts for. Maybe it's your birthday. I'm a Sagittarius, so I get it. It's a little close to Christmas, and people just kind of combine all the presents. Um, so here we go. Uh, advice from My Pool. A lot of people write to me and ask, you know, how do I calm the fuck down over the holidays when I've got all this family in town, either I'm hosting or I have to be somewhere, maybe it's in-laws, you know, there's just so much family going on. And a major tenet of the new book is to accept the things you can't control. And frankly, you know, you can't control other people's behavior. So if you know you're going into a family situation where people are going to be behaving badly, you just have to accept from the get-go that there's nothing you can do to control what they do. You can only control your reaction. For example, um, and I think this will really appeal to my American and British readers, you might have a family member this holiday season who, whose political views differ quite extensively from your own. And you're not going to be able to stop that person from voicing their views. So you can get up and walk away. You can say, I would not like to have that conversation right now. You can start playing games on your phone. Um, there's a lot of things that you can decide to do in advance so that if a situation occurs, you are prepared to mitigate the fallout. And I talk about this a lot in Calm the Fuck Down. Ways to prepare for shit that hasn't happened yet um, and ways to deal with shit that has already happened. Another thing I talk about in Calm the Fuck Down are what I call the four faces of freaking out. And these are anxiety, sadness, anger, and avoidance. And it's really important to understand is the flip sides of those four faces of freaking out. The flip side to anxiety is focus. So if you're worried about all kinds of things, pick one, choose one, focus on that, handle it, let the other stuff go. And the flip side to sadness is, is healing, is happiness and self-care. So if you know that something is going to make you sad, you know, perhaps it's your first holiday without a loved one. I experienced that last year. Treat yourself like you would treat a friend in need. You know, if you had a friend that was sad, you'd be kind to them, so be kind to yourself. The antidote to angry is, is peace. And one way to achieve that is to step back take a look at the big picture and think, what are the consequences of my anger? And if you think through the consequences of your anger, you can usually find a peaceful solution because the consequences of your anger won't be good. And you'll be like, oh, I would not like to end up in like TSA airport jail this year because I was um, very angry during my holiday travel, which, which definitely can happen. When I talk about anger, I say uh, it's important to peace out with perspective. And I think that really helps. I have something in the new book called Mexican Airport Syndrome, um, which is a real powerful cautionary tale. So I would urge you to check that out if you find yourself with a copy of Calm the Fuck Down on hand in the new year. Now the book doesn't come out until December 31st, which is why I'm giving you these tips now. But it's uh, the kind of thing that once you, you learn it once, you have a lifetime of tools. Um, and we all know that there will be more holidays to come. So this has been Advice from My Pool with anti-guru Sarah Knight. Oh, and also I am wearing a bathing suit. In previous editions of Advice from My Pool, I had a strap and you could really see it, but just so you know, I'm not naked.